Now, boys, uh, look, it's time, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, you asked for it. We're giving it to you. Fletch and Heine, old man halftime segue uh, jousting in Darwin. Let's take a look. Well, Nathan, welcome to Darwin. Thanks for having me, Brian. Yeah, I did it again. I, I don't know why I did it again, but I just did. I, I shouldn't have trusted him. I knew not to trust him, but I did. OK, well, the snow thing didn't work out as well as I'd planned. Panda. So I thought, let's go to Darwin. We're on segways, because that's the only way to see Darwin. You know what that means? What's that mean? Segway club! I took him to Crocodilus Park. Oh, is this where the crocodiles are? Sorry. Excuse me, mate, sorry. No Just se segwaying. We went out on a boat, we saw crocs. We saw two white lions, rare lions. Oh, jeez. Mate, this has got Siegfried and Roy written all over it. <laughs> I knew it wasn't... I knew it wasn't for me. I knew, I knew there was something up, and I knew it was going to be what he wanted to do at the end of the day, and, and that's what happened. Look, I've got to be honest, there was one other reason I wanted to go up there. What are you doing? Nudist beach. Well, no, no. <laughs> what do you mean? I'm not doing it, no. You have to. So I was reading this thing in the back of a magazine, and the only place in Australia to do nude segueing is Darwin. He flew me four and a half hours so he could go nude <laughs> on a segway on a beach in Darwin. Nude club! <laughs> not getting nude. Who does that? Who decides to go nude segueing? He needs his brain red. Born free, <laughs> as free as the wind blows, as free as the grass grows, born free to follow your heart. Have you ever been nude Segway? Oh, you got to try. It is liberating. Beauty surrounds. Yeah, we're on our way back from the beach. I had me all, put all my clothes on and he pushed me into the bush again. Get in there! <laughs> you an idiot. That's it, I've had enough. And that's when I had to challenge him. Old man, half time, segway jousting. Me and you. Is that a challenge? That's a challenge. I'm throwing it down. Bring it on, you bring little old nerd. Bring it on. Yeah, so I accepted his challenge. And the success of our old man, half time, anything. It's gotten so big that now we have got a sponsor. Ever Fletch and Hindy's Sunrise Challenge. Yes, it's old man halftime Segway jousting. And entering the arena in front of a massive crowd of peasants, here are the noblemen themselves, Sir Fletch and Sir Hindy. And here they come, Hindy and Fletch. I think Hindy got the first shot. And he might have got Sir Fletch right on his noble chin. My goodness. So it's one nothing to Sir Hindy. Joust two. Here they come again. Plenty of speed there from Hindy, but he's been bucked. His steed balked at the last moment, and Fletcher puts him on his royal derriere. Look at him celebrate. One apiece with the third and final joust to come. And there's a secret weapon, a mace, in the rear belt of Sir Fletcher. His footman, the loyal beaver, comes out to try and help him. And here they come again. Oh, Hindmarsh! Hindmarsh would have got him once more right on the point of the chin. Fletcher recoils in horror. That's as clean a shot as you'll see in old man halftime, Segway jousting. Here comes Hindmarsh at warp speed. Oh, he's hit the break. He's hit the break, and now he's at Fletcher's mercy. He's belting him with the mace. Look at Hindmarsh go down again. He's coming up with a sneak attack. Hindmarsh sees him 
cunning and fletches down again. Well, that is comprehensive. A backhanded swipe, it's no good. And Hindmarsh, in front of his loyal servants, claims a victory. Nice little piece of subtle profit placement there, boys. <laughs> they could catch on, that sport.